All systems are go for tomorrow's rescheduled launch of the Artemis rocket. It's set to take off from Kennedy Space Center sometime after 2 p.m. on a 42-day unmanned journey to the moon. It's not just the federal government investing in the future of space. States and local communities are also pouring money into commercial spaceports. And while infrastructure is growing, some people are worried about a failure to launch. As the Artemis moon rocket prepares to blast off from Cape Canaveral, space industry experts say one thing is clear about the country's flagship Kennedy Space Center. They are operating close at capacity. You got to go get in line uh, to, uh, to be able to launch down there. To skip the line waiting for government launch sites, aerospace businesses can turn to commercial spaceports. Rocket launch sites built with public money to help private companies sail beyond the heavens. Uh, the Commonwealth of Virginia has committed hundreds of millions of dollars to this spaceport. Retired Air Force Major General Ted Mercer runs the Virginia Commercial Space Flight Authority, a state agency created in 1995 tasked with capitalizing on the new space race. At NASA's Wallops Island Flight Facility, Virginia Space operates its Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, or MARS. We launch one there in November. Recently, Mercer showed me around the three launch pads at MARS, and he anticipates building a fourth. And so part of the idea in building this facility was that a, a customer can come in and everything they need is already here. That's right. And for, can... for the ground infrastructure. So, so they bring their rocket, they bring their payload, and then we take care of the rest to get it off the ground. This spaceport is one of 14 licensed by the FAA across the country. And like its peers, today it's rarely launching rockets. We expect our launch, a conservative launch operations tempo, to be up to 104 launches just over the next 10 years. Is your thinking that the demand will increase that significantly over the next 10 Absolutely. years? Absolutely. All the data and, and uh, our, the customers that are reaching out to us make it clear that it is that it is that it's growing. Mercer says the Mars success isn't just measured in launches and revenue. Virginia now views it like an infrastructure project that supports regional economic growth. I do see an opportunity where we will become profitable. That will be a slow process because space lift is an expensive business. Be gentle. Part of the argument for spaceports centers around the idea that if you build it, they will come. And that doesn't just mean businesses, it means tourists, too. Launches from either the NASA side or the Virginia side of Wallops can draw space fans from far and wide just to see science and engineering soar. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. It was really cool. I mean, it was quick, but it was really cool. It's space. Everybody wants to know what's out there, and what we can do to reach out there is awesome. That enthusiasm spills over into nearby Chincoteague, Virginia. It's crazy how many people travel down here to watch rockets. Arthur Leonard owns a hotel there. He's also the town's mayor. In the wintertime, it, it has a, a way of getting back to just a small fishing village. Yeah. But then when the rockets go off, it blossoms again. And you see this influx of people renting motel rooms and sitting in restaurant seats and eating ice cream. You really feel the impact. But spaceports aren't a treat everywhere. Camden County, Georgia has invested millions in a commercial space facility that residents have been fighting because of concerns about the environment. Additional sites are being proposed in communities from coast to coast, even with high costs and low demand. And without a tangible return on investment, opposed residents are coming to leaders with a question. What are we going to get out of it? Space analyst Phil Smith urges caution on building more launch infrastructure. It's not hundreds and hundreds of launches, and that probably won't come to pass for a while. One could argue we probably have more space force than we need at this point. And while it isn't rocket science to realize these sites are losing money, the spaceport industry is pushing for funding beyond what comes from a local community. The FAA provides more than $3 billion per year to help our airport infrastructure. And we have no money going to spaceport infrastructure. But do the math. In 2021, the FAA handled 16 million airplane flights in this country. There were 48 launches from public commercial spaceports. Still, advocates of spaceports say public money is needed for building out tomorrow's launch capacity today. If the government can provide a, a regulatory framework and be supportive of the industry and maybe help with the infrastructure, private industry can partner and we can have some good things happen in the future.
Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.